Hello everyone and welcome back to Scandinavian Design 101. I'm Sanna. I'm Andreas and we are two sweets and we love design. Yes we do and today I'm simply going to show you guys the most innovative and amazing design mm -hmm. furniture I've ever seen. <laughs> I got to know about these brands and products when I scrolled around on the Swedish design retailer Nordiska Galleriet when I accidentally sorted the products from high to low. Oh, yeah. I never do that. No. <laughs> I was fascinated by what I found and the prices <laughs> I saw. So I decided to Google most expensive design furniture. Mm -hmm. And I found some amazing brands and pieces we're going to show you right now. Yeah. The first brand is Edra, mm -hmm. founded in Tuscany, Italy in 1987. On their website, they describe super, superlative, huh? Huh? superlative uh -huh. comfort, universe, universal and timeless elegance. These are the fundamental characteristics of Edra. Mm -hmm. They also say the sofas, armchairs and all other products of Edra collection are designed and realized in such an accurate way that makes them unmistakable and unique to be experienced with the maximum pleasure. <laughs> Sounds very nice yeah. to me. Yeah. We'll start with we'll start by showing you the four pieces I saw at Nordiska Galleriet. Uh, three of them have a common theme. Sparkles. Ooh. Love sparkles. First out is the flap diamond sofa. And yes, you heard right, diamond. Mm -hmm. Well, not real diamonds, of course, but crystals at least. Yeah. Ah. And Edra have remade some of their furniture in collaboration with Swarovski. Mm -hmm. How awesome is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, designed by Francesco Binfare, I think. Um, the sofa is characterized by its flaps that tilts in different angles. It's handmade and consists of 180 polyurethane pieces, um, a tubular metal frame, and the upholstery is in this case an extra strong Kevlar fabric with crystals applied uh, with a special heating technique. Mm -hmm. I mean, Kevlar, it's the thing you make bulletproof yeah, vests yeah. with. It <laughs> is. <laughs> A bulletproof sofa. <laughs> With crystals. Yeah. Mm. And this sofa will set you back almost $135,000. And I think it might be worth it. Actually, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's the scary part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Next up in the same series, the fabulous but not so practical mm -hmm. Tatlin diamond sofa. Ah. Designed by Mario Can Cananzi and Roberto Semprini. Mm -hmm. Possibly. <laughs> And inspired by the Tatlin Tower. Oh, you should Google that. Yeah. The shape suits best in the middle of a room for it is truly an eye-catching piece. <laughs> and I don't know how you sit on it. No. I don't have pictures of that. No. Uh, I but never, it is a sofa. Oh, yeah. It's uh, composed of a plywood base, a molded steel frame covered in this polyurethane foam, upholstered in the same fabric as the previous one. And uh, this sofa is somewhat cheaper like around $125,000. So that is still a lot of money. Cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> this diamond collection also includes a truly fascinating armchair, mm -hmm. the Getsuven, maybe. I don't really know what that word is. No, no. no. Getsuven, 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 diamond chair. Yeah. Designed by Masanori Umeda, the shape is of a lily. Mm. And with the crystals, I think it's just beautiful. Oh. The steel frame is covered in uh, this foam and covered in the special fabric as mm. well. The back legs has wheels to make it easier to move around. <laughs> and this one is only around $60,000. Ah, that's a bargain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the last piece of furniture we're going to show you from Edra is the Boa sofa, and it resembles just that. <laughs> yeah. uh, designed by brothers Fernando and Humberto Campana, uh, it consists of around 100 meters of velvet tube filled with a combination of polyurethane and goes down. Mm -hmm. um, I love how the color of the velvet changes in different lighting. I mean, like, is it blue? Is it purple? You can't tell. No, no, no. Um, 
Regardless, it looks amazing and super comfortable too. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can crawl into it and cover parts of you in the, this tube. <laughs> Uh, it's cheaper than the crystal furniture with, uh, with a price of around $34,000 for the smaller version and from what I've found out as much as $60,000 for the larger one but I'm not really sure about that. No, it was very tricky to find prices yeah, for yeah. these. It's uh, often like uh, a price on demand or something. Always yeah. price on demand. And I didn't. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the second brand we're going to show you is totally my vibe, mm. especially the cabinets and sideboards. <laughs> I truly love the products from Portuguese furniture brand Boca do Lobo, yeah. which literally translates to Mouth of the Wolf. The brand was founded in 2005 and their passion is using traditional craftsmanship as well as contemporary techniques and the finest materials to create unexpected and eye-catching pieces. <laughs> and they do. Yeah. They combine sleek lines with Baroque-inspired oh. ornaments and exciting colors and finishes. And this apparently makes the furniture popular for, for high-end and luxurious interiors mm. all around the world. Like, for example, Harrods in mm. London and Fendi and Prada stores, just to name a few. Yeah. All the pieces are handmade in Portugal by skilled artisans like cabinet makers, jewelers... Oh. gilding painters and lacquer painters and so on yeah, yeah and now i'm going to show you my favorite ones which was a quite difficult choice actually and sadly they don't have any prices listed on the website so i just found some prices for reference on first dibs hmm. yeah let's start with my favorites the diamond amethyst and diamond emerald side boards yeah. The shape, as you see, is the gemstone, yeah. and I think it's uh, the best looking sideboards <laughs> I've ever seen. Uh, there's also a diamond bathtub. <laughs> I love baths, they're one of my <laughs> biggest hobbies, so I really want one of those as well. Mm. Uh, pricing of the sideboards are around twenty-five to thirty thousand mm. dollars, and the bathtub, I sadly don't know. No. And next up is the Heritage sideboard and this is covered in hand-painted tiles and it has a very unusual shape indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, the shape is also used in the Di Manuel cabinet, not covered in tiles but painted in a copper to black gradient. Um, uh, almost even cooler now when I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And these seem to be uh, about thirty to forty thousand mm. dollars somewhere mm. there. Next is the Voltaire sideboard, <laughs> and this is also truly beautiful. And it doesn't really need any explanation, no. I think. Uh, but notice the draping piece of brass covering the top and the side. <laughs> yeah. This really inspired me to make my own version. I'm thinking a cabinet, but yeah. I'm not really sure. No? We'll see what we end up with. Yeah. But I think this cost around $50,000. Yeah. And next... The Fortuna dining table, made from wood with a polished brass or stainless steel surface, and it's welded and manually engraved to look like uh, three log rings. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and these cost around $60,000. Yeah. yeah. Next is the Lapias cabinets, inspired mm. by karst formations in ah. nature. I am really impressed by the different shaped doors and drawers. Mm. That's one of the coolest thing about this brand. It's not just a drawer. No, it's it's incorporated in yeah. the shape of the actual piece of furniture. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the brass is like a stream down the middle. It's yeah. super cool. And yeah. it, there's many different versions and so on. Uh, and it is about around forty five thousand yeah. dollars. And then we also have the Piccadilly cabinet. Uh, and it's not necessarily beautiful, but it's impressive because of all the different elements and finishes mm. used. Yeah. And everything is made by hand, of course, so it must take many, many, many hours to, mm. from start to finish. Uh, a sideboard version is around 50,000. Yeah. They also have safes. <laughs> and I wonder how rich you have to be to own a safe. But it is called the millionaire safe. So I guess uh, you have to be a millionaire. Yeah. It comes in different versions. All really amazing. Mm -hmm. 
they write on the website that it's made to be a statement piece <laughs> and cause an impression, and it really does. <laughs> yeah. They also write to put liquors and other luxury lifestyles lifestyle items in it. Yeah, you don't need to have money in it. No, <laughs> and I really like the thought of that. A fancy liquor storage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. On first dibs, you can buy one for around $65,000. Yeah. Then you need a lot of money to have some money left after buying the safe uh, to... Buy the liquor. Yeah, and, and then... It, yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and the last pieces we're going to show you today is a collection of shares by the Spanish ar uh, artist uh, Maximo Riera Studio. And these have been around for like 10 years, but I've never seen them before. No. The inspirations are endangered mammals, reptiles and even insects. And the shares are all very sculptural. Uh, some show the whole animal and some just parts of it, but they are all easily recognizable. There's a hippo, an elephant, a whale, a walrus, an octopus, a beetle, a toad, a rhino and a buffalo. The style is a kind of mixture of minimalist and baroque, which is very interesting to look at. Yeah, like the other one. Yeah, exactly. This uh, kind of mixture of completely different styles. Yeah. Um, Riera himself has described the collection and its purpose like this. This collection pays homage to these animals and the whole animal kingdom, which inhabits our planet as an attempt to reflect and capture the beauty of nature in each living thing. And also, my um, intention is to bring the animal kingdom to the urban world, to create awareness in something we're all losing empathy with. And I think that's a great idea. It's yeah, really it's nice. Very, it's a beautiful thought. Yeah, yeah. These chairs are all very detailed and lifelike. Mm. From the texture of the skin to the expression <laughs> in the faces. It's all very naturalistic. And they are made with a metal frame covered in polyurethane and the seating area is upholstered in fine leather. Each chair is handcrafted and takes about 500 hours to complete. Oh. Riera and his team use a 3D modeling software and engineering techniques to be able to make them so realistic. Mm. Every chair is made with the different color codes, making every chair unique. Oh. This mirrors how rare the animals really are in the wild. Mm. I found some information that says that the price for these ranges from around 50,000 to 100,000. But I also found some other sources saying that, for instance, the hippo is $124,000. So I'm a bit confused about the price. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but the hippo is the actual size of a male hippo. So yeah, it's, it's a huge. kind of a reasonable yeah. price, but <laughs> I'm not totally sure about this. No. And yeah, that's all, folks, for today. Uh, if you like this video, please go watch some of our other videos. You really should. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.